Hey guys, wanted to do a video just going over how to convert the 3M Breathe Easy Turbo to using a normal battery instead of the BP-15. So um, how, if you're familiar with it, this is the normal battery that comes with it, the BP-15, which is a nickel metal hydride. Um, you know, it's pretty big and uh, they're really expensive. They're like two or $300 for it. Um, so what this conversion will let you do is switch it over to any uh, battery pack. And this is um, probably on the larger side, but you can get all different sizes of these as long as it has a 12 volt pin output. Um, so we're going to be going over that here. So let's get started. All right. So basically, um, what I wanted to go over, first of all, is uh, we're going to need to have... Like I was saying, we're going to need to have a battery bank or battery pack that has a 12 volt output. Um, the one amp is fine, um, but I think this will go up to 10 amps, but you're only going to need one. Um, and basically what we got to do is we got to run the power out of this and we have to run it to the breathe easy. Um, and but what happens is um, the the regular BP-15 battery is run at 6.25 volts. So um, a lot of people use the USB output, which is five volts and, um, or, or some, you can even maybe find some that could do nine, although it's pretty difficult, but, um, what'll happen is that'll either run under power or over power. And that could prematurely, uh, you know, burn out the motor if you're running it over what the factory spec is. So, um, and you don't really, I didn't want to run it under power. You can, it's still, it'll still work. It'll put out over six, uh, CFMs of air. Um, I've got a, a tester here. So, um, what we're going to do is go over how to set it up at exactly 6.25 volts output so you get the exact same amount of air CFM outputs that the uh, factory battery gives you. So basically um, what we do is we run the power out of the battery pack. It goes through uh, this thing, which is a buck converter, and I've got another one right here. So I'm going to show you how to set that up, and then it runs into your uh, uh, Breathe Easy. But what we have to do is we actually have to do a, a cable conversion. You'll see right here I just snipped it and uh, wired these in. We're gonna be go I'm going to be going over how to do that. I'm going to get rid of these wire nuts and actually solder it. So so here we go. Um, basically, you, I ordered this from Amazon. It was about 15 bucks, a buck converter. Um, and it can, it can, you can custom set the output um, on both voltage and the amps. So this, uh, this little flathead screw right here on the left side, that'll adjust the volts and the one on the right will adjust the amps output. So I'll show you how to do that. This one I actually fried because I actually set it up wrong. So, um, make sure you don't do that, <laughs> but, uh, basically it's going to come all kind of disassembled in pieces. And what you'll do is the, um, you'll see it's, it's got these uh, screws here on the, the back side, but it all, it's all, it's all disassembled. But, uh, basically you have a, um, a threaded portion on, on each end of this bushing and you just, uh, you'll notice this kind of has like a fan type cutout. So that's where the longer, these are the longer out of the two. These other ones are shorter and they have uh, a male threaded portion coming out of there. So we'll just stick this on here and to save time, I already got that assembled with those. Um, then what we do, oh, just drop it. Then what we do is you'll notice these, uh, this, this rectangular cutouts right here and here. You just want to make sure that you line that up. So obviously that's not the right position. So we got to spin it around and because you want to be able to, to, uh, tighten these down. This is where your wires are going to, you have this, you have your input and your output. Um, so, so there you go. Got those lined up. Then what we'll do is we'll flip it over, hold it all together and we will get our other plate. Now these, these came with a paper that you had to like peel off to get to the actual plastic. Um, what we're, what we, sorry, we have to actually take these other bushings with the, uh, threaded rod and we'll actually go through the circuit board. There's already holes there for it. And you just thread it into the other Stand off there. All right, let's see. All right, and then you also notice you have these two red things right here. Um, and what that does is that goes on right here. You have your enter and your set button. And so we just kind of rest these on top. And this might be kind of hard for me to do on camera, 
So I'm just gonna show you what you gotta do, but you basically just rest these right on top of there. And you just try to make them kind of line up as straight as you can. You can kind of see that. And then you go ahead and stick your screws through that. And you see those two slots on the right side right there? Those That's where the red buttons have to go through. So we'll see if we can do it on camera, I doubt it, but. Ha, got it. Um, and then all you do is just uh, tighten these down. And you've got it assembled. So that's how you get it assembled. Now, um, you will have your, your output side is the side with the USB port on it. Um, it also, uh, this uh, the other side will also say in, sorry, in. So you know that's your in, that's your output. And that's just your digital screen right there. And that screen does have a piece of plastic on it. You got to peel it off before you put this outer protective cover on. Um, anyway, that's how you do that. So um, I'll go on how to set it up here in the next segment. Okay, so um, I also got this uh, box here. This is a waterproof um, box. It's got a seal that goes all the way around it and everything. And then I've got these uh, these these waterproof 12-volt uh, pin connectors here. So um, I'll put a link in the description where I got that from. But that's from, uh, it's from all the stuff's from Amazon. So if you have any questions, give me a buzz. But uh, basically, I just stuck Velcro on the back of this and just stuck it in the box. So it would be stable in here. All right, so before I show you how to kind of set this up, I, did, I guess I'll go ahead and show you... Um, how I've got it set up. Like I said, I have the Velcro on the back, uh, back side of that. And then uh, these wires right here, um, this is how they come from Amazon. Uh, basically you got your, your black and your white right there, uh, which is negative and positive. And then you, um, you do have the rubber, the rubber caps, which gives the water proofing around the actual uh, uh, threads right there. And so all you do is basically you, dr you drill out your hole, you uh, put your rubber on, push it through and then you put the nut on the back side, the washer and the nut on the back side. And then, and then you just uh, run it to your uh, input and then your output. Um, so uh, I'll try, hold on a second. Let me get, let me get a close up shot here. All right. So um, basically let's see here. Okay. So the, uh, the positive going is um, the red wire going in and then the black wire going in is the negative from your pin connector. And then the same thing on the output, the positive is the red going out and the black, the negative is the black going out. So that's kind of just how I have it set up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in here. And then we will set up the programming here. All right, so let me zoom in here. Okay, now, so what you're gonna do is just uh, make sure you do not hook this up backwards. That's how I fried my first one. You wanna make sure that it is coming from the battery going to the inside. And then, let's see here. And then um, you don't have to have the other side plugged in yet. Um, all right, so we'll go ahead and just plug it in here to your battery bank. Then you can turn it on and it'll power up. Now you'll see, I've already got it set to the 6.25 volts, but um, let me grab my flathead screwdriver. So you remember me saying that this screw right here uh, controls the, the voltage. And uh, so if you, you can just play around with it. You, you, all you do is you have it plugged in, and you can you can adjust the voltage. Now the the amperage is a little bit different, but uh, let's see here. Okay, so uh, my battery bank cut off because there's no load on it. But if you turn it clockwise, you can change the output up or down. So you just, just set it where you want it. So six point two five is the factory setting. So we'll leave it there. Now to adjust the amperage, I'm not gonna demonstrate it, but I'll show you exactly what to do. I um, guess I shouldn't have put this back in yet, but uh, all right. So on your output right here, we have the, the black and the red wire coming out. You actually just, just snip a little piece, uh, one little piece off, maybe an inch long off the end of one of these, and you'll actually jump it. So you'll put one end of the one inch piece in the negative and one in in the positive. 
and it won't hurt it. Um, you just go ahead and power it up. And uh, when, once you do that, it'll have your, uh, it'll let you change this up and down. You'll see your amperage uh, adjust there. So that's, that's really easy to do. And um, let's see here. And also I wanted to mention the, it comes with the, the manual is pretty uh, self-explanatory as well. So, um, you know, if you have any questions, it's, it's pretty easy. Um, you can actually change the output on the USB port as well. But, um, but yeah, that, that comes with the butt converter. So, um, let's see here. So the settings real quick, let's see here. All right. So if you hit the set button, let's see the F dash zero. Um, that displays your, just your output voltage. Uh, the F dash one mode displays the input voltage. Um, so I've got 10 point on my battery is a little low. Um, the F2 will alternately display the input and the output voltage. And then you got your USB mode right here, um, that you can turn on and off. Uh, so, you know, that's basically a rundown of how this, uh, the butt converter works, but get it all wired up, get it, get it set up in your box and you are good to go. So let's move on to the uh, getting the wire set up to the Breathe Easy so we can plug it in the other end and get it to run. All right, so in this segment, we're gonna be going over how to set up the, uh, the this is the, the wire that actually comes from the Breathe Easy. So you're gonna uh, snip it and you'll have two wires, a white wire and a red wire coming out of there and you'll strip the ends off of that. And then you'll, you'll also um, have this, this is what I got from Amazon is the pin connector. And uh, you do the same thing with that. So I'm going to remove these wire nuts here in a second, and we're going to, I'm going to go through how to solder that. But uh, what you'll need for this section is, um, I got this from Harbor Freight, just some heat, heat shrink tubing, and it uh, works really great. And then uh, this terminal set, so it has all a uh, uh, whole variety of different connectors. Um, you don't necessarily have to have that. You're just going to need that, uh, that straight barrel connector there, um, which is right here. And uh, this wire is pretty fine. It's probably 20 gauge or something like that. So... Uh, so yeah, the the um you, you want to make sure that it, you don't these aren't gonna be too big. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this plastic jacketing off of here um, because I want to be able to solder in there so it has a real good connection. Best way I found to do that is with these pliers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, uh, off camera because it's gonna be a little bit too difficult for me to do on camera, and then I'll come back and show you what that looks like. All right, guys, so I'm back. Um, I went ahead and got the uh, shrink tubing ready. And I took off the jackets off those connectors. And so you can kind of see what those look like. Um, and what we're gonna do, and I also took off the wire nuts here. So it's real easy with these wires. The red goes to the red, just like that. And then the black and the white go together. So that's how you're gonna set it up. But we're actually gonna do it end to end. And uh, you'll see what that looks like here in a little bit. Um, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna actually go ahead and uh, put this on, put this over top. I'm going to kind of move those out of the way and then I'm going to solder up the wires together and then I'll slide over the barrel, barrel and I'll crimp it on both ends just to kind of hold it tight and then I'll do the shrink tubing over top. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to show you what that looks like. All right, guys, I just want to show you this real quick. So I got one done right here and I'm getting ready to do the second one. So I wanted to show you how I'm going to do it. I've got the, uh, the black and the white wire and then the red and the red. Um, you got to make sure you already put your, uh, your barrel connector on before you solder it or you won't be able to get it on and your uh shrink wrap tubing so don't forget that um okay so this is going to be a little bit difficult probably to do on camera but i'll give it a shot so you guys can see what i'm doing get a rough idea all right so let's see here basically you just got to heat up the wire real good so i'm going to use the end of the silver solder to push down into the wire here. we go we already we started getting some 
I got hot enough and started melting it. All right, so now I just need to make sure that I kind of squeeze it enough to get the connector over top of it and everything. And you can always melt the solder a little bit more if you need to, but this joint's really good, really well connected. It's not going anywhere. There we go. I'll see if I can fit it over top. Um, let's see, I don't know if it's going to fit. I might have to make it. Oh, there we go. It's a little tight right there. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to have to mess around with this a little bit more, but um, but yeah, you can get the idea kind of how that works. And you slide it over and you do what I did on this one right here. So after that, we'll put some electrical tape around it and it'll be good to go. All right, guys, ready to go. The only thing left to do would be to, if you wanted to, add some sort of clip or belt loop or something like that so you could, uh, you know, throw it on your belt. But you're not going to have to worry about any dust getting in there short and the circuit board in a box like this. Um, so it's dust proof and waterproof. So um, I went ahead and labeled it the uh, the input and the output, so there's never any confusion about that. And uh, so yeah, just plug that end in, and here is the cord that I got finished up. So it's nice and secure now. Um, let's plug that in right there, and. And I will demonstrate. I've got the, I've got it hooked up to this, so I'll show you. I've got the uh, the tester here. So then we just turn it on, and you got a nice cool breeze at the proper CFM output. So um, let's see here. Yeah, you can see the markings here. You got the six CFM, the four, that kind of thing. This just slams it up to the top. So. My new um, uh, TR300 Plus, it'll almost touch the top, but not quite. If you just run this, breathe easy off of five volts, then it'll kind of float in here somewhere. Um, it'll it'll kind of float like, like right, kind of around there where that arrow is. Um, but I mean, it just slams all at the top, it's perfect. And you're not gonna prematurely burn the motor out from running too many volts through it. So uh, so yeah, that's uh, basically how you do the conversion, guys. So. Good luck. If you have any questions, let me know.